Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I've got a $30 stock up haul from the Dollar Tree. Everything going on, it is so important to make sure we are continuing to stock up as much as you possibly can. Stack it to the rafters, definitely. Um, Today I did a $30 stock up haul from the Dollar Tree to pick up a few things just to make sure we have everything we need and fill in a couple little places. Let's jump in and see what we got. So the first thing I grabbed was an extra gallon of water. We are cycling through some of our water that we do store right now because it's been sitting for a while and I like to make sure we have good fresh water in our water storage. So every i try to grab a gallon here and there when i'm going out and so we can put that in and pull some out of there and just keep it cycled and make sure that we have good fresh water and some of these plastic containers don't last for super long times i have had um, the smaller water bottles especially the walmart ones are really thin and they will spring a leak. I've had them leak in the pantry. So making sure to cycle is pretty important. The next thing I got is a package of the Elbow Macaroni. We love to have this on hand, especially in the summertime. We use a lot of it for pasta salads, things like that. I love to have cold foods ready to just eat because it's just too stinking hot to cook. So on the cooler days, I'll cook up a bunch of extra stuff so we can have it throughout the week. And when it's really hot, I don't have to cook. I can make sandwiches and have salad or just veggies or whatever's fresh outside, <laughs> definitely. We also grabbed a box of the Rotini. I do love these packages because they are 20 ounces instead of 16. And then I also, I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree before, so I grabbed some Hormel pepperoni. We love pepperoni for a snack. Goes great with cheese and crackers. Again, wonderful for cold, colder foods and having on hand. These are great because they will last about a year in your pan pantry. They do not need refrigeration, and it's an extra protein source to have that is shelf-stable. So we love to keep... Uh, pepperonis, summer sausages, things like that. Um, if I don't have salads made up, we can just grab cold whatever there is, fruits, veggies, some pepperoni, summer sausages out of the pantry, and just make like a chartreuse board or something like that. Just snacky type things that are good for you and you don't have to cook it. <laughs> this weather is just, whoo! It's been raining and raining and raining and now it is like almost 100 degrees for the last four days, so I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> They're both horrible. I'm not good with the heat. I swear I could move to Antarctica. <laughs> um, and then I grabbed an extra moisture absorber. I love these. They work so, so good. In the pantry, in the gun cabinet, anywhere you wanna keep it dry and keep the moisture down so your stuff doesn't get messed. So I also grabbed a small container of the Butcher Boy coconut oil. We love to have coconut oil for all kinds of stuff. We use it in food, we use it for skin care, all sorts of things. Great to have on hand. It has a good, decent shelf life. I think this is 2025 um, on here. So it, it'll last a couple years in the pantry, which is great. And you don't have to worry about it too much. So we love to keep that on hand. And then they did not have any matches. So I did get lighters because you want to have something to start fires with, definitely. Whatever you can get, they're good to have on hand. Lighters do tend to, um, the butane inside kind of dissipates over time. So you want to make sure to cycle those out as well um, through your pantry. The next thing I got is red kidney beans. You cannot have too many beans and rice, that's for sure. Um, we love to have plenty of those. They're great protein. And lentils also, and lentils cook up way faster than beans in like 20 minutes, uh, 15, 20 minutes, right around that. 
You can throw them right in with your rice, cook them at the exact same time. They take about the same amount of time as your rice and then just flavor it however you like it. You can mix it up so many different ways and you can cook these ahead of time, keep them in the fridge and they're a great protein to toss in salads or into anything really. You can mix them right in. You don't even really notice them. It kind of takes on the flavor, I, you know, just they don't have much flavor so they take on whatever you cook them in. So we do like that. And then the next thing I got is some flexible fabric band-aids. I picked up two packages, 26 band-aids in each one. Can't have too much first aid stuff and it's not going to go bad on you. So we go through a lot of band-aids, especially this time of year. We're working and we get scrapes and cuts and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, and the next thing I grabbed was a couple cans of the Albacore tuna. $1.25 is a super good deal. They are almost $2 a can at the other stores, so I try to always grab them at the Dollar Tree when I see them there because that is a really super good deal. And you want to have all those proteins in your pantry, so if you're not able to get it or you can't afford what is there because things just keep getting more and more expensive. And the next thing we picked up was cotton twine. This has got 420 feet on it. We use this stuff in the garden. Um, I use it to tie up my herbs with because it's just cotton and you, I just wrap them around and so I can hang them because I try to naturally dry my herbs as much as possible so I'm not using electricity either in the outdoor screen uh, herb dryer or we hang them right up on the herb racks in the house and let them dry that way. So this comes in really handy. We go through quite a bit of it in the summertime. And also for, if you gotta make a trellis for peas or tie up your plants or anything like that, $1.25 is a really good deal. Let's see. And then I grabbed an extra hydrogen peroxide. Again, you cannot have too much first aid stuff. I really don't think that you can. You wanna have plenty of it. And I grabbed a bottle of the 70% rubbing alcohol. We like to keep this. It's great for a cleaner. It's great for all sorts of stuff. You can use this in so many different ways besides first aid. So making sure you have plenty for whatever you're going to need. And then they had some of the Old Bay Spice Seasoning. I picked up two packages of these. They are one ounce a piece. So it's not the cheapest way to get it, but I like that they have a resealable little top on them because I don't use the whole thing at once usually, but I can have plenty of these in storage, which I like. And they're all sealed up nice. And the next thing I grabbed is just a little Sudoku book. I love these things. And it's really good to have a bunch of stuff to do when the electricity is down. Um, so if the lights go out, you want to keep your mind busy and you don't want to get too bored and start thinking all crazy stuff because it can definitely happen. Having things to do, entertainment stuff is really important in your preps and stuff for the kids. We keep word searches and markers and crayons, all that stuff, notebooks so they can write, they can read regular books, whatever it is that they want to do. We try to keep a bunch of that stuff around. When the grid is down, the power goes out, you've got stuff for them to do to keep them occupied. And you know, educational stuff is always good. And you can't have too much of that either. And then I grabbed two of the kids Colgate toothpaste. You want to make sure you have plenty of oral hygiene products. You don't want to run out of those, especially in a long-term situation. You want to take care of your teeth. You want to make sure that everything, you're keeping them super clean. And then I grab some pens. You want to make sure that you have pens, pencils, whatever it is, so you can write things down. Long-term situation, having notebooks and just writing down things that happen during the day can be very helpful. It can help you keep track of the days because if you're in a long-term situation, you may not be going out to work. Your kids may not be going to school. It, you know, it could be a situation where you're just home and that way you can keep track of the days as well. 
So that is another way to keep yourself occupied and to help remember things that you did do and you know, to make sure you don't keep doing them <laughs> or forgetting about them totally, writing notes, all that stuff. I love to keep notes for everything, definitely. And then, let's see, I just have two more things. And the next two things, I bought a binder. Um, you want to be able to keep all of your stuff organized. If I have these for like recipes, I have one with just recipes in it. So stuff that I can put together real fast or ideas of what to make for dinners, things like that, that are budget friendly, help us with our budget. We have one for budgeting. I keep a binder for um, all our preparedness stuff with our notes in it. Um, information any of that so we can keep this it's ready to go you can grab it if you have to leave or you can find it really easily when you need some information out of it so binders are great for dollar 25 that's super good I thought this one was cute and they had all kinds of random things there and I also picked up these little index dividers with pockets um, inside of your preparedness binder these are wonderful inside because you can stick things in there your paperwork um, passport whatever you can put cash in there you can put whatever it is you needed to in there and you can have the little tabs to keep everything separated so you can easily find stuff if you need to find birth certificates or you know whatever it is directions to grandma's house whatever you have in there, you can keep it easily um, organized that way. I like to keep things as organized as possible. I'm not the most organized person, but I do try to keep, especially my preps, really organized so I can find stuff. If you can't find it, you might as well not have it. So making sure all that stuff is organized is really important, especially paperwork as well, the deed to your house, anything like that that you might need um, and you might need to get your hands on quickly, you can use those binders and make them up however it works for you. So that is always a great thing to do. And that's it for my $30 budget stock up all from Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Stay cool everyone. Bye!